Good morning. Today I am going to represent the predicting predictive maintenance uh, demo. I will work. So, as all predictive maintenance uh, is an AI based use case. This is an uh, AI based library which generates the C based code for uh, ARM Cortex microcontroller. When embedded on microcontrollers, it gives the ability that it gives the ability to the microcontroller to learn and understand the sensor pattern of that uh, gyro gyroscope or uh, accelerometer. So, without needing user um, any additional mathematical skills or machine learning ability or AI things, we can use that library to understand and learn the pattern from the machines. The nano is static library for the anomaly detection. They code that contains a AI model. Yeah. We are partnered with ST Microelectronics and uh, we have used their evaluation kit for this demo. So this uh, test of predicting maintenance uh, application we can use for this uh, anomaly detections, n, um, n class classifications, and one class classification also. Instead of that, also we can use for the extrapolation. This predictive maintenance uh, demo kit is equipped with low power MCU and the NPU that allow user to run a AI model, which helps the to run the, to run the battery for a long span of time. And uh, this kit can also contain an uh, edge communication model which pro user can send data to the cloud for the cloud communication such as AWS and Azure. This kit contains an ultra low power ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller with DSP and FPU. It is a ready to go software with uh, IoT uh, custom applications and this software package can be offered to on -grid. So now we are going to see the working demo of this uh, predictive maintenance. So this is the predictive maintenance demo kit and this is a model and this is the LoRaWAN gateway. And uh, now we are going to, if any abnormality happen in this model, that will be censored or detected by this uh, demo kit, which will be wirelessly sent to this uh, LoRaWAN gateway. And this gateway will send the data to the AWS. From there, we will using some com socket communications. We can receive it our dashboard so now yeah you can come currently there is no abnormality nothing is there so currently the abnormality is zero and the device in the detect mode so it is coming the detect mode so so for this abnormal I just block this pipes this and uh, it will detect the abnormality now we can receive the abnormality you can see come yeah you can see now we are receiving the abnormality the abnormality also so are here and for additional things we have added these things just like um, the graph charts for hourly and uh, we have other options just like daily and monthly basis for this detection counts and uh, this is the basic temperature things.